Hey guys, it's Sam with The Blind Life. Today I am taking a look at one of the classics, uh, one of the OGs. This is the Pin Friend, and specifically we're looking at the third generation Pin Friend. What is a Pin Friend? Uh, it's something actually pretty awesome, so hang out, we'll talk about it. So the Pin Friend is a way to label all the stuff in your life and keep track of things medications, spices, products, cleaning products, products in your home, clothing, uh, really endless numbers of ways that you can use the pin friend. You record audio labels with the pin friend and when you scan the little stickers, the pin friend will read them out loud to you. Now, I say that this is the OG assistive technology device because this thing has been around for a long time and it is beloved in the blind community. Uh, a lot of people speak very highly about the pin friend with good reason. It works really, really well. And with this third generation, they have improved it in several different ways. Number one, the form factor is better. It is smaller and it has these high contrast yellow buttons now. And then some of the features, not only can you create the audio labels with the pin friend, which it's always been able to do, but now you can also download MP3s and talking books and put those on the pin friend as well. We'll talk more about that here in a second, but the audio label recording, that's the main function. So how does it work? Well, in the package, you get over 100 label stickers. You get an assortment of colored round stickers and you get some square and rectangle. Uh, maybe they're just all square. If you need more though, you can purchase packets of extra stickers. These are available as well. But the way it works is extremely easy. You simply tap the end of the pin friend, the tip of the pin friend to the sticker label. And then the pin friend will automatically just play the recorded message that is associated with this label. The recording time for each label is one hour. So you can record a lot and assign it to the label. The pin friend itself, the internal storage will hold up to, I think 250 hours of recordings and that's recordings and media so your mp3s and all that kind of thing but that internal storage is expandable with an sd card you also get a cool really nice lanyard to so you can wear the pin friend around your neck but let me go ahead and turn it on and i'll show you how it works i'm going to long press the power button here and we get a little audible beep letting me know that it is turned on Visually, there's also a very bright red LED indicating that it's turned on. Now I can demonstrate how easily it works, how easily it reads these labels because in the box, you get this little instructional sheet. And this is low key brilliant. Each of these labels is some information about the pin friend and instructions on how to use it. So all you have to do is tap the pin friend to one of these labels and you'll get basically the instructional manual read out loud to you. General information. Penfriend enables you to add your voice onto recordable labels, which can then be stuck wherever you need them. On the reverse of this card, we see power. This is the first button down from the flat end of the pen. To switch on, press record. This is the second button down from the flat end of the pen. And then you also have little example labels on the back here that kind of talk about different things that you can do with the pen friend. You can sort. Pen friend can read aloud one daisy book at a time, remembering the page where you last switched off. Just download and go. No further need for the internet or other equipment. Did you know that there are over 25,000? Try our new washable plastic talking lid stickers. Suitable for tins, food containers, and bottle tops. But let me show you really quickly how you can record your own custom label. I'm just gonna use one of the stickers here. The process for recording a label is super easy. The second button down here is your record button. So you want to press and hold that and then tap a label, you'll hear a beep. Then when you let go, it is actively recording. So you will announce whatever you want this label to be. And a quick little tip, uh, you wanna wait a second or two before you start talking because there is a slight delay before it starts recording. But when you're done, you press that button again, you'll get an audible tone confirming that it has been recorded and you're good. So let's see, I'm gonna try this one here at the top. 
This is just a test to see how easy it is to record a message. All right, that was it. Now I'm gonna tap it again and see if it worked. This is just a test to see how easy it is to record a message. I mean, it couldn't be any easier than that, guys. And the great thing about the pen friend also is that these labels are re-recordable. <laughs> you can reuse them over and over and over again. So for most people, the over 100 labels you get in the package should be enough. Another quick tip regarding the labels. If you're going to label something like medication or food products or cleaning products, you might want to put the label onto a, an index card or some something other than sticking it right onto the container or the prescription bottle because eventually you're going to either throw that away or you're going to have to trade that back into the pharmacy and you're going to lose your label but if you put it onto an index card or a post-it or a magnet something like that once you're done with that product you can just pop that card off and reuse that label if you want to put some mp3 files or some talking books onto your pen friend there is software that you can download for free that will allow you to do that you just connect the pen friend with the usb cable that comes in the box to a computer use that software to transfer the files over to the pen friend now one thing to note i say talking books and you'll see that in some of the places where the pen friend is being sold it says you can listen to talking books just know that it's not the nls the national library services it's not their talking books whenever they say talking books they just mean audiobooks so this does not work with BARD or the Talking Books program or Bookshare, any of those things. You would just load an MP3 file audiobook onto the pen friend to listen to it that way. Now, you might be thinking, if you already have a pen friend generation one or pen friend generation two, can the generation three read those old labels? And yes, but you will need to download all that label information onto the new pen friend version three. Luckily, there is another free software pen friend utility that you can download to do that through a computer. On the side here, you have the USB port for connecting it to a computer and you have a headphone jack. So if you want to discreetly scan labels, you can do that with a pair of headphones. The pen friend runs on two AAA batteries that come in the box. So that's it guys. That is the pen friend generation three, the OG assistive technology. I can't believe I've never featured this on my channel before because I've known about this as long as I've been in the assistive technology game. I've known about the pen friend and how popular it is. If you would like to pick one up yourself, I'll put a couple links down in the video description. You can find it on Amazon uh, and in some of the more popular places like Maxi Aids, LSNS. I've seen it go for a couple different prices, but usually it's around $150 to $170 in, in that ballpark. All right, guys, that is it. I have to give a huge thank you to the Bluegrass Council of the Blind for letting me borrow this for a night to make a video for you guys. If you'd like to reach out to them, I'll have their contact information in the video description as well. And if you have any questions for me, leave me a comment down below. I'll do my best to help out. You can reach me through my website, theblindlife.net. Follow me on all the other social medias as well as the podcast, The Blind Life Podcast, available on all your major podcast platforms. But that's it, guys. Sam with The Blind Life. I will see you next time.